Hello everybody, it's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls and it's our daily card reading for March 17th, 2021. Let's see what we have. A lot of transformational energy, guys. This is going to keep on keeping on. So don't be surprised if you have, I heard an unexpected visitor. That's interesting. So <laughs> you might get a call that someone is in town and they want to meet with you. And um, I'm also hearing inconvenienced. So some of you, this this could be... For some people out there, it could be someone that you have some tension with. Uh, it could be someone who's like, listen, we just need to work this out. So again, remember personal readings, angelsouls444.com. If you do have a situation going on and you want to, you know, feel out the energy around that, that's where you get that. What's happening right here for this <laughs> reading right now is I'm getting so many different scenarios that are coming in for the general reading. So. Some of it is someone is sort of forcing you into a conversation that you are not ready for. And then I'm getting another example of someone is sitting and waiting to have a conversation with you. Is this what I'm saying? It's like very contradictory, right? Because everyone has a different story. So there's this other feeling where someone's been waiting and in some cases, like long time <laughs> to have a conversation and you've just been scared. And if you just, some of you are going to be initiating that conversation. So I did hear... Um, a visitor, but there's this feeling of all these souls kind of, um, there, there's a soul ping that is going on and it's like, make peace, make amends, go finish up the unfinished business. If you left things hanging or you owe somebody an apology, you know, go and even that energy out, take care of it. All right. There, yeah collecting okay so there's this energy here of people are coming together so that doesn't necessarily again our brains immediately go to it has to look like this it means we're all friends or it means we're enemies or whatever let's not jump to conclusions on a surface level but this is uh perhaps in some clusters uh people laying down fights because they realize we have to bond we have to support each other in whatever is going on there's this other energy here Yes, of soulmates coming together, of divine counterparts coming together. Um, this could be soul family members coming out of the blue. And some may be really shocked at who some of your soul family members are. I mean, you may get a call from a celebrity. Who knows? I mean, uh, you know, maybe. Um, and you realize, you know, don't let the ego, like if that literally happens, don't let the ego go, oh my God. Yeah, you know, and just like them just because they're a celebrity. Come into your heart, feel if there's a connection there. Okay, <laughs> I know it's a crazy message. Did I even pull a card? I didn't even pull a card. We just start going crazy. So let's get to it. It's going to be a weird week. It's going to be a surprising week. Um, I'm saying week. I know what I'm saying. <laughs> it's not a mistake. I know it's the daily, but I'm just letting you know. Go back and watch the weekly. This is going to be a very, like, just transformative time a lot of things being brought up to the surface to be seen all right a personal issue reaches resolution full moon in cancer so you might be dealing with a cancerian or somebody who has that prominently in their chart i'm um, a cancer moon sometimes you guys care and you ask there you go scorpio sun taurus rising cancer moon sagittarius venus and sagittarius or something yeah i think in western okay anyway, back to this full moon in cancer so you might be dealing with a water sign person but definitely full moon is culmination. Let's just talk. Here are my feelings. You know, that <laughs> for some of you out there, it is, it has this feeling of just, uh oh, what, 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 what? And then somebody's just like, I love you. We've been getting that message quite a bit, actually. So get ready, y'all. Um, I love you. Or I don't want to fight anymore. I don't, you know, I don't want to have disharmony between us. It could be that. You could also have somebody who's maybe not, you know, who is just really functioning from the fight. And it's, and it's more interesting to them because they don't know what peace is. They don't know what love is. They don't feel lovable. Um, and they might come at you and say, I feel like this, this, and this. Again, try to be the light carrier. Try to be the peace person right? and see what's behind that. And you might even address that. You know, I see that this has caused you a lot of pain. I never wanted to cause you pain. What else is causing you pain right now? 
you might be surprised. You might be surprised. People around you are going through things that you cannot even imagine. All right. So we are talking about a personal issue reaching its resolution. I'm telling you, this is tying up loose ends and it has to do with people. It has to do with connections between people because we need to be at full capacity as a collective. Yes, it is time. It's time to rise up, but it's not rising up in the way that people are trying to make it happen. That's just ruining everything. Mm. No, Michelle, you got to get up. I'm... If it worked, honey, if warring with each other worked, we would not be in this predicament. Time for a new way. Time for a new approach. Yes. If you're watching this video, you're one of the people that's supposed to be leading the way in that sense, you know, leading the way, leading the way and showing people how to take a more peaceful, loving, compassionate, empathetic approach. And as I've stated before, that does not equal wimp. As a matter of fact, that's where true strength is. That's how you tap into it. All right. So see how things go for you today. If you want to comment down below, please do. We're going to leave it there. I'm sending you all so much love and take care.